our only gift to Almighty God, who is the owner of our lives and the master of everything in the world. I, Ba'i Amala, sole redeemer of the golden city of the New Jerusalem, nation of Maharlika, and global funder slash implementer of the Universal Humanitarian Program Worldwide Anti-Poverty Program in accordance with the International Economic and Social Cooperation ECOSOC Article 55 Chapter 9 to full implementation without court order as provided under United States Uniform Commercial Code the authority for engraving the currency from the United Nations Organizations, the World Bank Group, Washington, D.C., United States of America. To all concerned banks, Prime Ministers, President and Remittances Center establishment all over the world. I, Ba'i Amala, sole redeemer of the Golden City of the New Jerusalem, Nation of Maharlika, and global funder slash implementer of the Universal Humanitarian Program Worldwide, Anti-Poverty Program in accordance with the International Economic and Social Cooperation, ECOSOC, Article 55, Chapter 9, to wit, with a view to the creation and condition of stability and well-being, which are necessary for peaceful and friendly relations among nations based on respect for the principles of equal right and self-determination of peoples the United Nations shall promote. Letter A, higher standard of living, full employment, and conditions of economic and social progress and development. B, solution of international economic, social health, and related problems, and international cultural and educational cooperation. And letter C, universal respect for and observance of human rights and fundamental freedom for all without distinction as to race, sex, language, or religion. Instructing all the banks of the world in the immediate lawful monetization and circulation of the international currency no Zion, a gold-based currency note of Maharlika, is now declared as legal tender in payment of all the debts incurred by the Vatican, Spain, United States of America, and Republic of the Philippines since 1875 until the present as a unilateral enforcement of the treaties under United Nations Declarations of the Indigenous Peoples, Article 37 of UN DREP, which provide Number 1. Indigenous peoples have the right to the recognition, observance, and enforcement of treaties, agreement, and other constructive arrangement concluded with states or their successors and to have states honor and respect such treaties, agreement, and other constructive arrangement. Number two, nothing in this declaration may be interpreted as diminishing or eliminating the rights of indigenous peoples contained in treaties, agreements, and other constructive arrangement. As stipulated under the deed of assignment, Dated May 10, 2000, executed by Global Alliance Investment Association, or GAIA, represented 
by EJ Eker as guaranteed by Bonus 3392-181, which serves as the debt collateral as an asset reserve in all banks which is payable in gold and likewise recognized by United States Treasury and Federal Reserves Act of 1913. Further, the same has been finally notified on February 16, 1999 and now subject to full implementation without court order as provided under United States Uniform Commercial Code, UCC of the debt, whereas the above-mentioned currency is likewise backed up by the ancestral domain of different tribes within the Philippine archipelago. Further, an authority for engraving currency issued by the World Bank on the day of September 1976 at World Bank, Washington, D.C., United States of America. Whereas, demonetize all fiat currencies in the world to be immediately replaced by a gold-based currency to finance massive universal humanitarian economic development programs such livelihood, scholarship, healthcare, agriculture, annuity, industrial and infrastructure development regarding the constructions of roads, railways, mass housing, hospitals, public schools, malls, condominium units, and the implementation of effective environment planning, waste management, free water and water distillation, and the appropriate utilization of our natural resources, etc. Stop all destructive mining operations and excavation nationwide and promote the clean energy which is a high potent environmentally friendly fuel that could possibly replace conventional or fossil fuel and gas. Whereas the Divine Universal Humanitarian Development Program Protocol based on the following. Number one, the wealth is a reward of our trust, faith, and righteousness, our only gift to Almighty God, who is the owner of our lives and the master of everything in the world. Number two, if you believe and have a great trust, this wealth will save our poverty. And number three, and for the remnant of the indigenous generation, this wealth will be redeemed and ready to embrace, slash, help the poor, and save and spread it to the whole world. This program intends at the following. Number one, housing. Number two, food. Number three, clothing. Number four, hospitals. Number five, school. Number six, infrastructure. Number seven, agricultural land to be developed. Number eight, reforestation to save our Mother Earth. And number nine, protecting and restoring watershed and oceans. Whereas, execute full implementation of the Costo Marilo, the Republic Act 8371, or Indigenous Rights, or Indigenous People's Rights Act of 1997 as international law, of coordination. Now, therefore, there is a legal cases, the International Tribal Court or ITC of Atuyay and Siring, Socorro, Surigao del Norte, Nation of Maharlika, close and open parenthesis, Philippines, shall have the sole jurisdiction to settle such dispute involving the circulation of the international currency under customary international law. All executive orders, letter of instructions, rules and regulations, or part thereof which have been consistent with the provision of this instruction 
are hereby superseded and slashed or modified accordingly. Done in the golden city of the New Jerusalem, nation of Maharlika, the 16th day of December in the year of our Lord, 2019. Signed, Ba'i Amala, golden city of the New Jerusalem, nation of Maharlika. At this point of time, people of the world, I will be reading the authority for engraving currency. And please listen. The United Nations Organization, the World Bank Group, Washington, D.C., United States of America, Authority for Engraving Currency. To all men, this present global banking institution is to certify that her in below fiduciary account deposit of the people of the Philippines island under the trusteeship of His Excellency President Ferdinand Edralin Marcos with reference number Philippines 2000-1 as written herein below. King Bernardo Carpio Close and open parenthesis, white Mongolian account, and Maria Banahaw. Close and open parenthesis, divine sunflower accounts. Dr. Jose Rizal. Slash and open parenthesis, white Vatican account, and Maria Sinukuan. Close and open parenthesis, divine crystal accounts. Antonio Diaz Santiago. Close and open parenthesis, white dragon account, and Maria Cristina. Close and open parenthesis, Kiram accounts. President Ferdinand Idralin Marcos. Close and open parenthesis, white eagle accounts, and Maria Makiling. Close and open parenthesis, divine Esther egg accounts. Unanimously reconfirmed balances of infinite dollar and time deposit deposited in the institution for a term of 23 years, 3 nights and 21 days, which shall be reached at exactly on January 1, 2000 at an interest rate of 4% per annum and all including accounts worldwide are forever authorizing President Ferdinand Edralin Marcos of the Philippines and slash or his designated authorized party Spiritual Wonder Boy with numerical code number 345 to engrave with graving treasury permit number FM 777-2000-1 Any sovereign treasury bill or either United States of Philippine dollar or any foreign treasury design permit with his signature and or the signature of spiritual wonder boy with identified approved color of red, yellow, and white and identified approved area size of 34.5 inches or inch 4.0 inches of width and 8.625 inches of length as his treasury bill had been identified as monetary backup with precious commodity from the Philippine island and the rest of the world with numerical number standard code of 345. This institution has honorably finished the United Nations Organization and all its financial departments to inform slash alert the central banking institution worldwide that nobody is allowed even the Department of Treasury of the United States of America 
to engrave and the Federal Reserve to America engrave any treasury bill without the permission of President Ferdinand Marcos and slash or his assigned party spiritual boy and the Federal Reserve Board of the United States of America. This institution is hereby certified and declared this instrument as valid and authentic and is hereby certified, reconsidered, declared as clear from all sorts of fraudulence, fictitious, and other negative terms and means may blame and prosecute against this instrument from this date and in the future. This institution is certified this authority on the 10th day of September 1976 at World Bank Headquarters, Washington, D.C., United States of America. Signed, Robert McNamara, World Bank Group. Signed, Chairman Arthur F. Burns, Federal Reserve Board. Signature of Depositor, President Ferdinand Edralin Marcos, President of the Philippine Island, Spiritual Wonder Boy, Designated Party. Ito po ang kopya ng tinatawag natin ni Authority for Engraving the Currency from the United Nations Organizations, the World Bank Group, Washington, D.C., United States of America. So I will be reading to you now the letter address sa lahat po ng mga presidente at lahat po ng states leader. November 8, 2018, to all concerned nations and states, dear president, greetings. We are writing you this letter concerning for the currency in the nation of Maharlika. We have a concern that we need you to know the value of 200 pesos per Golden Zion. Executive Order Number 002, Series of 2017, and Universal Humanitarian Law are heard to attach. In the exercise of our rights, collective representation, and self-governance, as provided in the Republic Act 8371, known as April Law of 1997, Section 13, and what is stated in the United Nations Declaration and the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, Article 37, which provides, Number 1. Indigenous people have the right to the recognition, observance, and enforcement of treaties, agreement, and other constructive arrangement concluded with states of their successors and to have states honor and respect such treaties, agreement, and other constructive arrangement. In this, nothing in this declaration may be interpreted as diminishing or eliminating the rights of indigenous peoples contained in treaties, agreement, and other constructive arrangement. In this connection, we can be instrumental in assessing the nation by helping with the necessary needs not only for building infrastructure and shelters, but to feed the people and fulfill medical needs. So we do not expect that anything will be done. In accordance with the International Covenant on Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights, or ICES, CR under Article 11, Paragraph 2, likewise provides the states to present covenant recognizing the fundamental right of everyone to be free from hunger shall take individually and through international nation the measures including specific programs which are needed. Taking into account the problem of both importing and food exporting countries to ensure an equitable distribution of world food supply in relations to need. Thank you for considering this letter. Please let us know if you need any advice and place known or acknowledge and confirm upon receipt of this letter. God bless. Note, Philippines, formerly called Maharlika, 
and now the golden city of the new Jerusalem within the nation of Maharlika. Sincerely signed, Dato Bontito Leon Kilat, Attorney Vicente B. Gonzalez, Jr. LLD, Pangulo Sausay, International Chief Justice. Signed, Dato Amala, Costumari Council Assistant Judge. Signed, Bai Amala, Golden City, Jerusalem, Nation of Maharlika. Mandatory requirements. The following items must be recognized in the creation of independent economic agency such as World Bank or World Central Bank, New Global Trade Organization, and the adoption of One New Global Currency Reserve. The One New Global Currency Reserve must have a backup for stability purpose of the following gold, platinum, diamond, and silver. The original gold standard will be back is the before printing of the One New Global Currency Reserve. Number two, who will become organization? Three slash organization with the biggest of gold backup in the physical and document will be given the first priority to lead the new central bank of the world. All countries' central banks are prohibited on printing of currency without gold backup. The world will return to the old way of gold standard before printing of one new global currency reserve.